Mitt Winstead, great to have you back with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you're kind of a prolific writer. What number uh, is this book we're going to talk about today? Number five. Number five. Wow, congratulations. And uh, the genre is all murder mystery? It is. Ah, you have a little fascination with this, do you? Um, no comment. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, well, you know, I had never really read them until the last year or so, and I've started reading them, and I find I actually very much like them. There's something puzzle-like about a murder mystery where you have to feel, and I love that. I love the forensic science of it. So maybe we're kindred spirits here on this. I'm not sure. So tell us a little bit about The Noose, too, because this is the second in a series. Yes, it's a sequel to The Noose. All right. And the, the premise was, and still is, the botched hanging of Thomas Blackjack Ketchum oh. in Clayton, New Mexico in 1901. This is based on a true story? Uh, no. Oh, let's see, you had me going. I was totally in there. I'm like, that's, wow, really? That's exactly how I want to keep you, too. It cool. feels real. Yeah. But, uh, it's like the Blair Witch Project. You're like, exactly. did that really happen? You know? Blackjack comes back to haunt Camp Verde, Arizona. Oh. His grandson moves from Clayton, New Mexico, to Camp Verde, and he starts killing off deputy marshals Ooh. in revenge for, for, for his, the hanging of his, ah, his great-grandfather. To appease grandfather. the ghost. It sounds like a movie I'm going to well, review today. The, which the ghost I actually comes back. So it's the first, the, the noose was the first time I attempted anything to do with ghosts uh -huh. because I don't necessarily believe in them. <laughs> the sequel That's kind of interesting. is how do we get rid of the ghosts oh, because, right. uh -huh. because Clay Tolleson, his, great, his grandson, great-grandson, right. also becomes a ghost and everybody wants to get these two people gone. They want to soothe those spirits and get them out so of the this, way. So this, this story closes the chapter, sort of. Okay, so it's not ghosts. a series, it's just a sequel. Gotcha. It's, yeah. um, so now, why did you start writing? It Was this your lifelong career? I was in construction or? for 55 years. Okay. And in 2009, the bottom fell out of the economy, as everybody well remembers. And I went on the internet and couldn't find a job in this country or any other country at that time. And I said, I've had enough. So I always wanted to write a book, so I sat down and I wrote my first book, which is Evil in the Mirror. And the second uh, book I wrote right after it, called Daystalker, and the third book was The Phoenix Code, and then And then the, the noose, noose, and the noose too. Yep. So again, you know, you're not gonna tell me why murder mysteries, or no? I researched uh. for probably three months, not only what was selling, but how to find a publisher, how to, how to do it correctly so that I could get published. And that's when I found out that at that particular time, murder mysteries were very hot. So that's- and You found out you like writing them? Uh, it took something out of me, every book that I wrote. Ooh. And uh, I swore I'd never write another one, but then it became addictive. And I figured rather than become a serial killer, I'll just write another book. <laughs> Do you dream about this at night? Do you admit? You know? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? No. See, because I can't watch like cold cases or anything before I go to bed at night. I will dream about it all night. Well, so. nobody wants to read Evil in the Mirror before they go to bed. Yeah. I can guarantee you. No, you have to watch something like but The Wonderful no. World of Disney. No, it, <laughs> so. it, it doesn't bother me at all. Wow, well, good for you. That's really cool. So, any more noose books, or is this the final noose book this, of the series? This you think? is the end okay. of the noose. Okay, wraps it up. My next book is going to be called Invictus, a love story. Oh. So I'm going okay. to try to write something different, although it is a love story with a twist. And no, that's okay. not a twist of the knife in the back. <laughs> May not have blood in it. Okay. No. <laughs> well, good. We'll see if you like a different genre as well. Where can people find the, your, your books and the news too as well? The best place is on my website. And uh, uh, e or my email address is on here also, and you, you know, the way I'd prefer people to buy my books, even though I don't sell as many, I prefer you get a hold of me, oh. and I will get okay. a hold of you via email, and I'll 
package a book or books up and I'll send them to you. Nice. And so what's your email real fast? I don't have that on the screen. It's Winstead at gmail.com. Well, that's pretty easy. Mitt with two T's. Yep. Got that. That's an easy one. Well, you, uh, you help, as an established author who's been published, you like to help uh, people who were wannabe writers. How, how do you do that, Mitt? Absolutely. I think it's important that all writers stick together because it is a cruel, hard world out there in the, the publishing game. So I Everybody always say, wants to be a writer. Let's, right? let's don't compete. Let's help each other. So uh, on Facebook and Twitter, I've continually tried mm -hmm. to give the best advice I know through my own bad experiences what not to do and then try to explain the things that you should do. Wow, that's, I think that's great because really there cannot be too many books. As a reader, a compulsive reader, there's always, I'm always looking for more I couldn't books. agree with you more. Fabulous. All right, Mitt Winstead, a brand new book out, The Noose 2, concludes The Noose. Uh, if you haven't read it, read it and then read Noose 2 and the other books. Thanks so much for joining us. It was Mitt. my pleasure. Thank you. All right, can't wait to read that. I'm kind of into him now.